Today's video is brought to you by Wood Defender. We're kind of in the middle of a test here, but we thought of one other thing you guys have kind of beat us up on, the strain right post puller. Now we have a lot of people say, hey, can that thing really pull posts? Because you guys are cheating and there's no concrete on your posts. Well, we thought today we could answer that question for you. We're getting ready to pull these posts. We have two and three eighths posts that we have put in the ground and we'll show you what we use it for because again, if you watch anything about our operation in Florida, you know, we don't use concrete for a very specific reason. So we'll show you how well it works on that. And then we might step right on over here a little bit later and see whether or not it works on a post set in concrete. I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't. So this is the strain right post puller. We like it in Florida because it's light. It fits right down the channels of our frames. We can put it on the truck. It's not some great big massive deal that we got to carry around and it works very well. Now in Florida, I will tell you with certainty, this will pull just about any post that anybody has set anywhere in Florida. We have sand, we have a lot of poorly set posts. You know, one bag, maybe a bag and a half of concrete. That's if you really want to do it right. Most of those posts you can actually pull out by hand though. So it's not much of a challenge. In fact, the posts we drive probably pose more of a challenge than a lot of the posts that are set by other people because they're going maybe, maybe two feet deep and we're sinking posts four foot plus. I'm telling you, they can be a challenge to get out of the ground. And you know that if you watch any of our videos, but anyhow, this is what we use. This post here is in solid clay and then a little bit of rock down here but we have this nice thing we just tip it up and if we can do a couple wraps on our post the chain goes right in there and we're about two and a half feet in the ground but we can easily pop this up and then it just slides down our pipe so for pipe it works wonderfully and that's how easy it is to pop a post out Ooh, let's see what's in this you could tell we were on some good stuff down there. That thing's all beat up. I forgot about safety. Safety first. Hey, do you guys remember when we were in England? Peter Regwell had a really unique way of pulling posts out. Do you remember that? How he did his chain? Did you remember that? Uh -huh. You can check that video out right over here if you want to see how Peter used his chains to pull posts out, which I thought was really ingenious. Ah, oh, that one's coming good. Oh wait, what? what? Look, one-handed, yeah. There you go, okay. Is this set in concrete? Hey guys, we hope you guys are enjoying today's video. We wanted to drop in and tell you a thing or two about today's sponsor, Wood Defender. We love these guys, they have a great product. Wood Defender is oil-based, so therefore you're not gonna have any chipping, cracking, or flaking of your fence stain. Wood Defender is self-leveling. If you cover your fence to the point of saturation, you're not gonna be able to see a heavier spot and a lighter spot. Also, if you start and stop, you're not gonna see any stitch lines. You are gonna have some drips, you're gonna have some runs, but you're not gonna see them because it's self-leveling. I don't wanna go out there with a paintbrush and stain my fence. No, no, you're thinking the wrong thing. Wood Defender is so easy to apply. Pick up a simple weed sprayer and away you go, spraying down your fence. Now what about overspray? Is that difficult to clean off? Wood Defender is super easy to clean up off of non-porous surfaces. Just take a dry rag, maybe some dish soap and water, and wipe it right off. On porous surfaces, it takes just a little extra prep work with either a drop cloth, some dish soap, and some water. Wood Defender has been family owned since 1952, and they have amazing customer service to match. Wood Defender has dealers in every state who can ship anywhere just like us. Make sure and see the link below. And now back to the video. So you've seen how easy it is to pull them out when they're not in concrete. Can we do that when it is in concrete? Do you remember how big this hole is, Dan? Uh, that's a nine inch diameter hole. Three feet? Yep, three feet. Oh, four bags of concrete on that post, on that post. Okay. Oh, we slipped. You gotta... I'm slipping. Oh, it's, oh, oh, you know what happened? I feel like I'm gonna get myself hurt really bad. It's a good thing I'm done having kids. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. That feels safer. I'm gonna bend this for sure. Oh. 
Man, that's, we're fighting for every inch. That came easy. Oh. Yep. Pull the concrete. So yeah, we were able to pull it. One caveat. We got that thing to break free of the concrete. And did you dry pack this? So this is wet set, but it was bag set, not truck set. So yeah, we can pull them. But would I recommend this particular puller for posts and concrete that were well set? Absolutely not. This is not the tool for that job. You need something more like the NW Quick Pull or something that's got more substantial leverage to it than what this can offer. You'll definitely bend this thing up. But if you're in Florida and you're in soft ground and you're pulling Florida fence posts, all day, all day. We've not taken a piece of equipment to a job ever in Florida doing removal, so this might be the tool for you. So that's everything I know about the Strain Right Pulse Puller. If you want to pick one of those up, check the link down below. Hope you've enjoyed this additional bit of information about the Strain Right Pulse Puller. I'm Mark with SWI in Wyoming, and you have a good dang day.